This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. There are two drawing spaces in each AutoCAD file. They are model space and paper space. Paper space was introduced in AutoCAD 11. We're using AutoCAD 2012, which is the 26th release of AutoCAD. So as you can see, paper space has been around for a long time. Even though paper space has been around since 1990 when release 11 was provided, it still causes trouble for many users. Understanding the purposes of each drawing space is a fundamental need when creating drawings in AutoCAD. Let's just keep it simple right now. Model space, which is what we're in. As you can see, we have the model tab and we're in model space. Model space is where your drawing objects go, your actual line work. And paper space is where your paper objects go. If you were to create a drawing with pencil and paper, you would start by making a drawing border and title block, and then put your drawing inside it. AutoCAD works in reverse. You create your drawing objects first, or your model, in model space. Then you switch to paper space and add your drawing border and title block. Paper space is also where you put your annotation, your notes, your dimensions, your text, and especially if you're going to create multiple sheets in one file. Switch to paper space and you will see that we have our dimensions here. We also have our title block. This is where they belong. They are paper or sheet specific bits of information. There can only be one model space tab in any given file, and you can't delete it. You can delete your paper space tabs though. If you do, there always has to be a minimum of one paper space model at all times. So if we delete it, AutoCAD will automatically generate a generic paper space tab. But you can also create more than one. You can add many different paper space drawings to your file. It's a good idea though to keep them limited. Don't put in too many or else it will be difficult to navigate through your drawing. If you have to scroll back and forth through the list of paper space tabs to see all of them, then you have too many. When you approach drawing in AutoCAD, think of your line work as data in a database. That data belongs in model space where you can access it. When we start to reference files into other files and sharing and using data that way, it's very important to keep the data generic and raw. That way anyone can use it the way they need to, and they aren't burdened in having to deal with your annotations. Paper space is where you need to display your drawing data, or your notes, your dimensions, your annotations. You reference your model data in paper space through what's called a viewport. The viewport is a sort of window from paper space to model space. It connects the two. In paper space, you can make your viewport display your data in a unique way. You can make your lines be red, dashed, or you can even turn off specific layers. Plus in paper space, you can annotate it there. You can add your notes and your text and your dimensions. Paper space is where you explain or describe your model or your line work. One of the biggest benefits to annotating in paper space only is that you can create multiple viewports in one tab. In model space, you get one shot at making your drawing. You get one view, and then everyone else has to use what's there. Many drawings need more than one view of the object to create a drawing. You can get more done through paper space and keep it organized, and you can display it the way you need to. Model space does not provide such tools.